Look at all those floaty rocks. <laughs> it's pretty damn cool. Welcome back, people. I've uh, just got one little thing to tell you. Um, you know the basilisks I was kicking the shit out of in the last video? Well, you can learn Stone Breath for Kimari if you use Lancet, which I've just gone and done. So that's all I've done off screen. So let's. Uh, can we check out this little shop here? In the nice little funky building outside the temple. Look at this. It's pretty cool. Lizards running around inside here as well. Oh, they're not lizards, are they? The little light. I don't know, rabbit type things, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry but our beds are all taken by the wounded, you can stay if you don't mind sleeping on the floor. Um, we're not going to rest, we don't need it. Uh, we're going to buy some weapons, and see what you've got. Fencing saber, that's strength plus five, not bad. Magic plus five, but we've already got a better rod there. Hyperball. I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to equip it, yes, rune mark, that's better than our current one, I might as well buy it, we got plenty of cash, halberd, no, that's useless, that's not bad, but we probably have some just as good as that, don't we, um, I'm going to buy it anyway, just for the hell of it, and I'm going to equip it, metal shield, no, no, uh, metal arm guard, that's not bad, in fact yeah I'll buy that and I'll equip that, no, no, uh, no, no, that'll do me, okay, uh, that's another compli uh, tutorial thing. The wounded are fighting to stay in this world. We've done all we can, they must not be disturbed. Fair enough. But there's a chest behind you, I want to try and grab that. Can I grab that? No, you're not going to let us, are you? We're going to have to wait to grab that. Okay. Damn. Do, do. Okay, let's finally go into the temple, unless we can speak to Gato, who's crying over here. Loser! He's... Where is he? I... Found him. He was torn in half. Oh God! I... That idiot. Damn. What? What do I do now? I can't do this. I'm going back to Besaid. Okay, you do that. Unlucky. Now, someone was saying that you could actually get it so that uh, Luzu lives, or. I don't know, I've never I've always had this option. I've always had Gata living there and surviving and being a crybaby and going all the way back to all the way back to Besaid, but whatever. Please let me know if you uh know anything different there. Is there anything down here? There is, yeah, chest. Good. Ability sphere, oh we've got plenty of those. We don't need those. Wanted some level one key spheres, that's what we wanted, but never mind. Right, let's go see who the summoner is that's uh, already in here. It better not be Donna. Can't stand the cow. So you're a champion of the Evan now, Braska? Uh, okay. Who's this guy? He's wearing a bow as well. What's all I that about? Your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm Fuzzy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. That's a cool name. I'm guarding my big brother here. And he's got Since Wolverine's hair. I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I hope so. I. 
I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? You won't get very, very far if you don't open your eyes, very buddy. Well, then. <laughs> I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. For once, we meet a nice summoner. Well, he seems nice anyway. He seems kind. And uh, we're off to the Cloister of Trials. After I try and find some nice goodies. Such as this. Uh -huh. And those little things more look like monkeys. Uh, monkeys and squirrels crossed together. Not lizards like I was saying before. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the plot one little bit. Uh, got some more crusaders lying in here. My chocobo, oh chocobo. Poor guy. How about you? Captain saved my life and got hurt. I'm so worthless. You are. You really are. And there's a chest that I just noticed right now. Please open it, Titus. Thank you. Remedy. Good. Oh my. We are out of funeral shrouds. What the hell's a funeral shroud? Rest in peace. Oh, he's dead, is he? So they're just leaving a dead body there, and these guys are running around like they're dead happy. Especially the little kid as well. Busy, busy. We'll get shift in this body then. It's going to start smelling soon. Deary me. Right, uh, there's probably going to be another room around here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Let's have a look. There is a chest I can see there. Mega Phoenix, that's very good. Okay. More Crusaders. I bet they're not going to give me anything, though. You are the best captain. We'll never forget you. Oh, looks like he's dead, then. Please wake up. No, he's probably dead. Association with Lord Meehan, founder of the Crusaders, really. Yep, it was pretty, pretty dire. Alright. Are we going to go attempt these cloisters now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go. Hey, you. Oh. Me? Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Yeah. Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Wolverine. It seems that summoners <laughs> have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. Really? It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. We will do. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? Hey. What? What? What you all talking about? Shut it, you little brat. We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? You mean he's a guardian? Dear God. Please be careful. Isaru is screwed. <laughs> no, he's got Maroda, aka Wolverine. Passe! Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Yep. Be right there! See ya! See ya! He actually appears in uh, Final Fantasy X too, doesn't he? Passe? I can't remember now. I think he does. On to the cloisters! The cloister of trials lies within. Are you prepared? Not really. I'm bricking it, to be honest, but we'll go. Thank you. But I do have my trusty guidebook here, so... We should be fine. I'll try and figure it out by All myself. Right. Guardians, at attention! We are ready. Alright. Let's do it. Damn right. Now, this is, obviously, is the first temple that we're allowed to go in, really. First cloister trials, so, uh... Titus, better not let the party down. Alright, we have two spheres, left and right, and, um, looks like two places to put them, so 
I don't think I need to consult the book to uh, figure out what to do here. Of course, if I do end up fucking this up, it will look very embarrassing. I love that music. So creepy. insert and the door opens oh my god right I do believe the whole point of this room is to make all the parts of that symbol glow the only question is how the fuck do I do that we got two recesses there got a glyph Right down here. Oh, we got the resetter. Yeah, my dog is barking. I do believe that's Mickey because it's not a really sort of weak bark. The little puppy tries to bark, but it just sounds so funny. Not terrifying in the slightest. Right, um, I'm going to read the book. Fuck it. I can't be asked. Let's just uh, see what it says. Uh, yes, it is to. Uh, the aim is to illuminate all the parts of the symbol. Take one of the two Jose spheres from the wall. Uh, okay, fair enough. We'll take that one. And we'll put it in this one. I'm guessing we have to do that with the other one. Maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Take the sphere. Um, yeah, it's not good, is it? Maybe I'm supposed to do that. Do nothing. Let's go and chuck it in this one. Ah, something's happening. Right, do we have to push this pedestal underneath that now? Does it say that? Yes. Beautiful. This is all coming together. It's all coming together. I mean, yes, I am cheating, really, but don't hold that against me. Um, there we go. What's gonna do? Seems to be charging it up, and that sphere is glowing a green sort of colour now. It's strange. Uh, charges the sphere. Remove the sphere and insert it in the recess to the right of the door in the centre of the room. We can do that if I can get round. Do I have to... How the fuck do I get around there? Just push it a little bit. Oh my god! Why can't I reach it? Just push it over there a bit. That's it. Now we can get it. Phew! Right, take the sphere. Now I don't know what this is going to do. Open the door, maybe? Oh, a glyph has appeared. And the door opens. God, we're so clever. What the hell's in this room? Woo! Guessing we don't really want to uh, try jumping across there. So what do we do now? Do we have to push this pedestal? I'm sure there's a pedestal that you have to use to get across there. Let's see what the guide says. Passage to the northern open. Insert both Josephs from the eastern passage into the... Pa ah -ha -ha. Got it. Bingo, right, take these, put them in the pedestal. Come on, Titus. Come on, that's it. Insert. Maybe I should just use the, uh, the resetter. Maybe that'll work. Saves me having to push it all the way back, I suppose. Yep, that's good. Take this one. Insert. I'm getting hungry as well. I'm actually off work today. Uh, haha, as usual it seems. Managed to book it off. Just wanted a long weekend and um, I'm getting hungry. It is half eleven. Bit early yet for food really, but... Well, as any time is food time. But whatever. Okay, now that we've put these in the pedestal, what do we do? Then push it towards the north. Okay. Go on, Tad. Push it. 
I think this will sort of drop down there and then start floating. Yes, okay, now we can jump across to that when it'll steady itself. Phew, I would not want to uh, jump across there because I mean, it's quite a narrow little platform. A bit uh, nerve wracking this. But there we go. We didn't get shocked, which is good. Now, what do we do with this? Push it into the wall, do we? Okay. Oh, aha, okay, that's good. Lit up another little segment of the symbol. How do we jump back? Return to the west passage and step on the glowing switch there, pencil will return. Okie dokie, matey blokey. Reset. Now, do I put these in the, um, whatchamacallit, do I need to take out this now? Can I take this out? I'm guessing I do. Um, remove the charge, yep, 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 yep. See, I know what I'm doing, I know how to do these, but it's just checking the book just to make sure. I suppose it really doesn't matter where I put this. I could just put it there. Okay, that's that's glowing now. Good. And I could just remove these, can't I? And put them. Come on, take the sphere. And go back into this room. All the way back here. And put them in there. need one more, I'm guessing. The only question is, how do I get the destruction sphere? Where's that going to pop up? Because I want the secret treasure, obviously, from this temple as well. There's no point in missing one. And the reason that I want all these secret treasures is uh, quite important, but I'm not going to tell you just yet. Some of you will obviously know, but... Uh, Basically, it basically involves a nice uh, secret Aeon. Right, looks like we've activated a, a lift of some sort, but... What about this damn destruction sphere? Where the hell... Um, which lifts tied us up to the next level? Ah, right, okay. So we, we have to go up this anyway. It's not going to take us straight to the Faith this time. God... These temples are pretty cool. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Five pedestals. In this room. We can only see three there, but there are five. What do we do with them? What do we do? Push each one into the wall. A set of stairs will appear. Close the lift. Oh, close to the lift. A new pedestal will appear at the centre of the corridor. Don't approach the stairs for the moment. Instead, take the lift down. See a glyph on the wall. Okay. Right, okay. This uh this should be this should work. Push all these into the wall for now. And this will access the uh the faith force. Getting so hungry. Let's try and get this done. Question is where? That's not it. Oh no! Didn't want to do that. Uh, down here. Aha! Touch the glyph. 
was very well hit, really. You can only just see the glyph on the wall, but here we go. Destruction sphere. Now I believe we just put it in the pedestal up top. Alrighty. And to the right, there should be... Yep. Here we go. We've got it. It's in the bag. I wonder what it's going to be, though. A magic sphere. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Right, let's go up. I got ourselves a new Aeon, baby. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. I'm not pacing around. I just walked about two steps. Lulu? You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. What could happen? We're just stuck in this room waiting for her. Walking around and, you know, being impatient is not going to affect her. Right, well, you go in. Well, you again. Oh, no. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. Still wearing very little clothes, I see. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? Hey, that's Sir Oren to you. You are... Oren, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Yeah, if you stop Arin. flexing your muscles. No, Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. Excellent. <laughs> we got a fan. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. You're not gonna wash that hand, are you? The personal guardian, the Lord Brasco Riffraff. Oh, oh, Donna, you're in trouble. And you call yourself a summoner? Oh, yeesh, yeesh indeed. Fucking hell. Tell me enough. Get back here. Enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Hey. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel sorry for that guy now. He seems like a genuine guy, you know, he, he has respect for Orin, which is always good. And they're waiting for Yuna to finish. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> I forgot he said that. <laughs> Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Oh, really? I don't think you could take him, lady. He's a little bit bigger than you. I met Sir Orin. The Sir Orin. Oh, how good for you! Aren't you special, Lulu? You should try to settle down. Oh God! Will be blamed if any We've heard that. Kimari, are you going to speak now? Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. <laughs> that is a brilliant line. You grow stronger, but are still a pup. A pup? What no dog? Walker. Quite the show, yeah. Not so good on the heart, though. No, no. Not all summoners are like Yuna, I guess. Indeed, they are not. Donna is, by definition, a bitch. Oren? Stop pacing around. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pace around just, just to rub it in your face. Look at this. I'm walking around, man. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it, Oren? Nothing. You're just gonna stand there and act cool. I expect no less. Okay. Okay, yep, we've heard that. Blue, are you gonna say anything different? Now we wait. This is also a guardian's duty. Oh, so we just wait around. Okay. Um, I'm guessing to trigger this next cutscene we have to walk here. Yep. What do you know? Could have been waiting there for a while. If you just did what they told you, you know. But uh, here we go. She's all weary again, but looks like she's done it. Shut the fuck up, Donna. All these guardians. And Sir Oren, too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. So? The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. Someone's jealous. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. For Orin, you need to smash it with your sword, buddy. 
Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Walk over a bit of a face palm there. Do, 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 do. I hope Donna dies in that faith. But here we go, the new Aeon, Ixion. Uh, which is like a lightning horsey. He is very nice. Confirm. Proceed. Yes. A lightning horsey. Uh, all rested up. I'm glad we got that uh, cloister trials out of the way. That was uh, not too bad. Alrighty, guys. Uh, oh, can I uh, get that chest in here yet? Is that pillock of a priest moved out of the way? He has. Let's loot it. Switch hitter. That is a weapon for Walker, I believe. I wonder how good it is. And we might as well use it with these S levels. Uh, Kimari, you're not going to learn anything there. Oren. Caught up with Tidus, but Tidus is probably going to leave you behind again. Lulu, you're going to learn Demi now, which is good. Excelente. Yeah, Tidus. You're going to learn Threaten. I still can't remember what that does, but anyway, Yuna. No S level for you. Waka. Uh, which way? We were going this way, weren't we? Yep. Nothing for you. Um, although... Oh no, Yuna isn't near a blank, uh, a blank node. Because we do have that magic sphere we could use to up her magic a little bit. Or we could use it in Lulu. In fact, yeah. I'm going to use it here. Okay, and that's magic plus four. So we'll use that. We're looking to do a bit more damage now with our magic. Alright, let's head out. In fact, I was going to check what that weapon's like for Walker. Uh, is it any good? In fact, it is. We didn't even need to buy that Hyper Ball. Let's equip that. Lovely. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins anew. The night is always darkest before the dawn, but I promise you, the dawn is coming. Epic line there. Probably got it a little bit wrong, but anyway. Donna has left. Isaru too. Oh dear. They left already. We were dozing our little heads off in the uh, in the inn. Let them get a head start. That's not good. Anything over here? Oh, look at that. Another chest. Four thousand gil. It's pretty damn good. Um, Walker. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Okay, where is she? She's not still sleeping, is she? Get ready for the journey ahead. Oh, we will. We will. Yuna, Yuna, where are you? Let's go find her. Bet she's fast asleep, the lazy cow. All she did was a little bit of praying, got her way on, and she feels the need. Oh, look, look who it is. I'm going back to Besaid. With Luzu gone? Yeah. It'd be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I'll go soon. Okay. Good luck to you, buddy. Um, What was I saying? Oh yeah, thank you, the lazy cow. Bet she's in here, sleeping on the bed. She is. Wakey, wakey. We not wake her up. Where's a bucket of water when you need one? She was working until dawn. Oh. Healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. Suppose so. Hey, oh. <sighs> ah. Morning. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so sorry. No worries. Don't worry about it. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. 
My word. And the lovely music's playing again. Yuna's theme. Here she is. Look at her run. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. What does you she look like she were doing then? <laughs> Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? I don't know. You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. <laughs> uh, oh. mm, what is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> and they all share a moment of laughter. <laughs> Even Orin laughed. You too, Sir Orin? Yeah. Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. It's a nice little moment of um, happiness, you know, of uh, companionship in the group. It's good to see. I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized the only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Hmm. And off she trots, and we can follow the group. And now you could actually, um, in fact, I don't know where to save it here. I've been recording for quite a while. This is a long video. Uh, I probably will probably end it here. But uh, at this point in the game, I do believe you could actually go all the way back to Besaid if you wanted to. The uh, the path at Mushroom Rock Road or whatever is clear again. So, but you don't really need to do that. There's not much point. Um, I'm going to save it here. So, yep. Thanks for watching. We're back on the road again with a new Aeon that I'll be showcasing hopefully in the next video. So, see you then.